Here's how to play Happy Dim Sum. In Happy Dim Sum, you'll be making and moving sets of dim sum around the table. There are nine kinds of dim sum cards, and each kind forms a complete set of two, three, or four pieces, as shown by a picture in the corner of each card. Your goal is to make complete sets in front of other people, because as a good guest, you want to stuff your friends with tasty dim sum while you keep your own plate clear. In the game, you can serve dim sum cards from your hand to the other players and play action cards from your hand to move, remove, and trap the dim sum that is on the table. Eventually, players will start to get full, and this happens when someone has three complete sets of dim sum in front of them and the daily special cards that match those sets have appeared on the table. There is one daily special card for each kind of dim sum, and when someone draws it from the deck, and puts it on the table, any complete sets of that kind will count towards making people full. You're the winner if everyone else is full except for yourself. Or if the deck runs out and you're the person with the fewest pieces of dim sum in front of you, based on a simple system of points. To set up the game, first find the nine daily special cards and take them out of the deck. Then shuffle the deck and deal five cards to each player. Put the daily special cards back into the deck and shuffle it again. That's it, you're ready to begin. We suggest that the first turn goes to the person who ate dim sum most recently. Start your turn by drawing two cards from the deck. If you draw a daily special card at any time in the game, immediately put it face up in the middle of the table and draw another card for your hand. Now you can make up to three moves, and your choices are serve dim sum, play an action card, or discard a card from your hand. You can make any of these three types of moves in any number and any order, up to a maximum of three moves, or no moves at all if you wish. After each move, wait a moment in case another player wants to react to your move by playing a card of their own. Any reactions from other players will count as part of one move. When you've made all your moves, your turn is over, and the next turn goes to the player on your left. If you run out of cards on your turn, your turn is over, and you must draw three cards from the deck. If you run out of cards on someone else's turn, wait until the end of their turn before drawing three cards from the deck. To serve dim sum, take one or more dim sum cards of the same kind from your hand and put them in front of the player you want to serve. Each player can have a maximum of one complete set of each kind of dim sum on their plate in front of them, so you can serve them any number of pieces until a set is complete, but no more than that. You can include one or more tea cards in your serving. A tea card is a wild card that counts as one piece of any kind of dim sum. To play an action card, take the card from your hand and put it in the discard pile, then do the action on the card. There are six types of action cards. Takeout lets you draw two cards from the deck. Chopsticks lets you take one card from someone else's hand without looking. Hot sauce lets you trap a complete set of dim sum on another player's plate. When you put hot sauce on a complete set, it's now stuck in front of that player and cannot be moved around. Grandma is everyone's favorite because she makes all the other players take all the dim sum in their hands and serve it to themselves. Always listen to your grandma. Yum Cha lets you move dim sum around the table. You can play Yum Cha on your turn to send one of your dishes off to another player. A dish means all the pieces of one kind of dim sum that are on the table in front of you. It may be an incomplete set or a complete set with no hot sauce on it. You can also play yum cha on someone else's turn to defend yourself from dim sum that is coming your way. If someone is serving or sending you dim sum that you don't want, you can play yum cha immediately and send those same pieces off to someone else, including the person who sent them to you. That person might react again by playing their own yum cha card. And the same pieces will keep moving as long as each person plays another yum cha card. If the person at the end of this has more pieces than a complete set, 
they must discard the extra pieces, starting with any T cards in that set. Finally, at any good dim sum meal, people will battle for the bill. Check Please lets you pay the bill and remove one of your own dishes by putting it in the discard pile. But the other players might fight you by immediately playing their own Check Please cards. The battle goes around the table and only the last player who plays a Check Please card will win the right to remove one of their dishes. The game ends when everyone is full except for one player, who is the winner. Remember that having three complete sets is not enough to be full. The matching daily special cards must also be on the table in order for any complete sets to count towards making people full. The game also ends if the deck runs out. Each player who is not full gets a final turn without drawing cards and the winner is whoever has the fewest pieces of dim sum in front of them, based on a simple system of points. Each piece of dim sum gets one point, and each complete set gets one extra point. And that's how Happy Dim Sum works. As you play, look for clever and funny ways to stuff your friends and keep your plate clear. We hope you find it deliciously satisfying.